ozone 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 peroxide peroxide uv ozone i keep hearing about ozone everywhere thought it's pretty bad for you uh but i wasn't sure so i googled and found a couple of papers i'm going to review this one on ozone therapy i hope it's interesting for you turns out ozone is more interesting than i thought it is so let's take a look this isn't a very reputable journal it's the journal of natural science biology and medicine looks like sjr rating is not very high but let's take a read anyway the title consists purely of keywords this is ozone therapy and it's a clinical review so this paper is supposed to review clinical therapy applications of ozone let's take a look immediately they dive in ozone therapy has been utilized and heavily studied for more than a century its effects are proven consistent safe and with minimal and preventable side effects really okay okay diseases treated are infected wounds circulatory disorders geriatric conditions macular degeneration viral disease rheumatism and arthritis cancer sars aids <laughs> whoa okay i'm putting big big question marks matter of fact i threw this paper out and then I opened it back up. I want to read what they have to say. I am cautioning you. Anytime anybody claims to cure cancer, SARS, and AIDS in the same sentence, send me all your money. Anyway, yes, yes, ozone is a relatively short-lived reactive species that is fairly easy to generate just some ultraviolet or high voltage. It's a good statement here. Although ozone has dangerous effects, researchers believe it has many therapeutic effects. Good, good, let's see what they are. Aha, this is important. Ozone is never administered via inhalation and always administered in precise therapeutic doses that is something to note medical ozone used to disinfect and treat disease has been around for over 150 years that fact might need to be double checked papers from 2011 so 150 years would be 1850s hmm not entirely sure but okay okay this is a very interesting statement here. During the First World War, 14 to 18, doctors familiar with ozone's antimicrobial properties or antibacterial properties, and with few other medical resources available to them, applied it topically to infected wounds. So, when you don't have anything better, ozone may be a good solution. That's something to note. Uh, oh, here we go with AIDS. Ozone has shown promise in vitro, so they were able to kill virus in a petri dish. But whoops, in vivo, not effective. Okay, so maybe we can take the AIDS claim out of the abstract. Many people only read the abstract, don't read the paper. And it's in the abstract, but okay. If you look at the table of chronological use of ozone, it's in everything abscesses acne aids allergies cerebral sclerosis i mean you name it what have they not done but i digress in this move action the authors discuss a couple of different mechanisms but sounds like peroxidation is one of important ones there is some effect on the immune system probably due to release of antioxidants and of course ozone is an accident so if you mix it into the bloodstream it's going to cause release of antioxidants ozone is apparently in clinical trials i did not check this one nct 00962481 may be interesting to take a look but i'll skip that of course all the links are in the description please take a look at this article and take a look at the references and take a look at this clinical trial if you like pain 
pain is a big one. It's very complex, very challenging application to study. Advantages of ozone therapy, I thought we listed them. It cures everything. More interesting, disadvantage. So again, peroxidation is mentioned. Here we need to tread lightly. There are many challenges with introducing a strong oxidant into your bloodstream or swallowing it, or putting it on your wound for that matter. Be careful. Recent developments, I guess it's used a lot in dentistry. I can see that because teeth aren't live tissue. So putting ozonated water on a swab and using that to clean or whiten the teeth, that could be an interesting application. I'm sure somebody has looked into that. And here a single subcutaneous injection of ozone, I'm guessing ozonated water, with some nerve injury led to reduce of pain behavior. Very, very interesting. Overall, this is a poorly written paper, sorry. But I'm impressed with how much ozone is claimed to, to do. I will continue looking further into this and will definitely share more recent, more interesting research findings with you on use of ozone in therapeutic applications, in medicine, and for general disinfection. Stay tuned.